Good morning. So today we are going to be talking about signs in our neighborhood that might help us with traffic and transportation. So to start, we're going to read a book called Signs in My Neighborhood. Okay, and if we look on the cover, what sign is this? It's a stop sign. And how do we know it's a stop sign? What are some clues that we can find that tell us it's a stop sign? So we have the shape, right? Let's count how many sides a stop sign is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So a stop sign has eight sides and that's called an octagon. So when you see an octagon, it might be a stop sign. What's another clue? The color, right? It's a red octagon and it has letters. What letters do you see? It has one, two, three, four letters. S-T-O-P. Okay, and down here it says all way. So if you see this, it means every car on each corner has to stop. If it's not there, then only the car that the stop sign is in front of has to stop. Okay, so let's see what other kinds of signs we might see in our neighborhood. What is a sign? Signs tell us what to do. They help us keep safe. Look for signs in your neighborhood. Who knows what this sign is? So let's look at the clues. It's a rectangle, right? It has two long sides and two short sides. It's black and white. There's an arrow pointing in one direction and another arrow pointing in the opposite direction. And there's letters. It says one way. So what do you think that might mean? It means the cars have to go in one direction, right? Let's keep reading. Stop and go. Eddie sees a traffic light. In traffic light? It's actually three of them. Cars go on what color? When you see what color? Green, cars go on green. At yellow, they slow down. And when the light is red, cars stop. You should be able to answer this question. You just talked about it. What is that red octagon? It's a stop sign. Maya stops and looks all directions before pedaling forward. So it's not just cars and trucks that have to follow street signs. If you're on your bike or a scooter or a skateboard or a motorcycle, you have to follow safety rules also. You ever seen this sign before in your neighborhood? That's a yield sign and it stands at the street corner. Sid's dad slows down. See, he's slowing. He checks for cars before crossing. So he doesn't have to make a full stop, but he has to slow down and look both ways. So when you see a triangle, right, it has three sides, one, two, three, that's red and white, that's a yield sign. And you'll also see letters. You see Y, E, Y, I, E, L, D, yield. Here's some more safety signs. What do you think this one might mean? When June walks to school, she finds the crosswalk sign. June crosses the street there. 
Okay, so there are signs. This is a crosswalk. I'm sure you've seen these when you're crossing the street. And this is the sign that lets drivers know and people know this is where you cross. Okay, and let's look at these shapes. There's two shapes here. Let's count the sides. One, two, three, four, five. That's called a pentagon. It's five sides. And underneath, we have one, two, three, four, with an arrow. And that's pointing to where the crosswalk is. It's a square. Okay, so there's signs all around you. Maybe when you're in your neighborhood, you can try to find some of these signs. And another one. What clues do you see here on this sign? There's the letter H, and it's blue and white. And what shape? That's right, it's a square. It has four equal sides. And the one underneath is a rectangle with an arrow. So which direction do you think they need to go? That way. This sign tells people that the hospital is down the road. Okay, so signs also, besides giving us safety, give us information and directions. Like this one, pointing the way. In Juan's neighborhood, street signs stand on each corner. Juan's house is on Village Square Drive. Okay, so these are street signs that tell you the name of the street. It's part of your address, right? Your address is the number on your house and then the street name. Near her home, Lisa spots, what kind of signs? A one-way sign. It tells people they can go only in one direction. What other signs do you see? A stop sign and a street sign. Signs keep us safe. They tell us where to go and how to get there. So this is a no parking sign. It says no parking here to corner. So from that sign to the corner, which you can't really see on the picture, you can't park there. And this says, watch for children, okay? So that's a diamond or a rhombus. And it has a child playing. So it lets drivers know that there's a lot of children that cross the street here or play in the street. So you have to be careful. Okay, so there's lots of signs. So there's um, a couple of activities we can do with this. If it's nice weather outside, you can go take a walk and look in your neighborhood and see if you can find any of the signs that we just saw in this book. Okay, and you can draw a picture of them when you get home or you can take pictures with you. You can take a camera with you and take pictures of the signs that you find. Um, we can also, what we did in the classroom, which I would like you to try at home, is we made roads okay and then the children made signs so some of them made traffic lights they also made trees and houses because when you're driving you might see those things they made a one-way sign a crossing so people crossing so she made a little person here we have a stop sign Let's see on the other side this child made a stop sign also and a one-way sign. And then what we did, um, we used cars and a magnet, okay? So in school, we had this big magnet and a little car. And what we tried to do, see if I could do it on here, is we put the car on the road, okay, and used the magnet to try to move the car. I don't know if it's going to work here. No, it's 
not really working for me here. It works in the classroom. So I'm going to show you on a smaller piece of paper, which might be easier for you at home. Okay, so I'm going to take my piece of paper, okay, and quickly, you're going to take your time at home, but I'm going to make a quick road here. Okay, so there's my little squiggly road, and then maybe I'm going to add a stop sign. Okay. Color it in red really quickly. Maybe I'll add a traffic light too. So I need a red circle, which color means slow down. Yellow, like a yellow circle. And what means go? Green, so I'm gonna put a green. Okay, and you can add as many signs as you want to your road. You can use any size paper you want. Okay, but try to think of the signs that we saw in the book. So I just did a stop sign and a traffic light. Now, if you don't have a car at home, that's okay. As long as you have anything that's magnetic. So I have a little ice cream scoop magnet. And this was from an eyeglass repair case. It's what I had at home, it's what I found. And look, it attracts. So I want you to try to do, it's going to look like magic, I'm going to try to move the object along the road. See, you want to try to follow the road that you made. Okay, it's like magic. Why do you think that's happening? Because metal is magnetic. It attracts, watch, to the magnet. Ready? But if I try something else, like maybe a marker that's made from plastic, it doesn't attract, okay? So anything that's metal or magnet, you can try to move it along your road, okay? But remember, make your road and add some street signs in there, okay? And when you're done, take a picture of your road Maybe mommy or daddy can take a picture of you doing the science experiment, the little activity. Okay, have fun. Bye.